Listen, I don't know what the devil is trying to throw your way. But when your cup gets empty, it's time to go back to the source of all things good. See, we can try to do this life in our own strength, but it only proves to be a place of emptiness. This is why we need to spend some time in that quiet place, in that secret place with God. It's like when a battery gets drained. What what good is it? What good is a drained battery? See, it's time to go get charged back up from zero to a hundred, from empty to full. And I know, I know, you've been feeling so drained recently and it feels like everything is so stacked up against you. But see, it's never too late. Nothing will be held over your head. It's time to go back to building and let this love grow. See, you will soon feel that strength that you've been looking for. But how do we find this strength? It's not found in this world. This is a spiritual thing right here. Your your spiritual batteries are on E. And this is why God led you to this video. So you could get charged back up. Because God has been holding you in his right hand. And he won't let you go. I'm serious. I'm serious. You really don't understand how much God cares for you. It's that consistent care that never, ever ceases. That never, ever goes away. God is saying to someone right here, right now, plug back in. You know when your phone dies, right? It's just because it hasn't been plugged in. And that's how we get spiritually. Because see, God is the only real charging point. He has plenty to go around and his table is big enough for all of us to eat. See, there isn't titles at this table. There isn't status at this table. Just a banquet with the king. God says, will you come back and sit at this table? This is where you find your hope. This is where you find your strength. This is where you find that very thing that you've been looking for, that recharge you need to keep going and it's all things new at this table all things good at this table all things means everything in your life and listen listen it's not based on your behavior and it's not based on perfection some people will use scripture out of context to actually push their narrative and try to justify their own nasty words but When we see the life of Jesus, we see a man who was compassionate, a man who knew who he was. Check this out in Colossians 3.12. Put on then, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. See, God sees something in you that you can't even see. That's why all of this has to come to the surface because he is drawing and painting a picture of your future. So if he knows your future, then he knows where you're headed. Then, then why would he just leave you right here if he really knows your future? Listen, he wouldn't. And he is wanting you to come fill that cup. He is wanting you to come back to him today. Listen, it's time to take off what the world tried to label you as and walk in what God has created you to be. Listen, I know you can't see it right now, but there is something that is so great up ahead that is going to change your life forever. See, you've been really going through it recently, and I know it's really felt really daunting, but that's only because the enemy doesn't want you to walk in joy. But see, the flip side to this is that we give the devil too much credit. We just start to blame everything on demons, everything on an attack. But when your cup is full, there is nothing, I mean nothing, that can phase you. Psalm 23, 5 through 6 says it like this. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. See, the table has already been prepared. It's just time to come and sit and stop allowing that self-doubt to talk you out of what God has for you. Yes, I'm talking about you. You know, we can disarm the evil in our lives by not giving it a foothold by claiming what the truth is. Listen, I don't know who this message is for, and I don't know why God is putting this on my heart. 
But see, God isn't sitting up there with a book of all your wrongs. He isn't counting every time that you messed up. He isn't counting down to the day that you mess up again. Actually, he's rooting for you to keep pushing in the right direction. This is when you can rest in God's arms right here. To literally know that there is nothing he can't do. There is nothing that his love hasn't covered. You know, I know for me, I always tend to forget who I am because I'm so focused on what's wrong with me or what I did wrong. When God doesn't even see that, he sees his son. He sees his daughter trying their hardest. Isaiah 61 one shows us this. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim, yes, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. See, God never said that this life would be easy. He actually only promised to never leave you nor forsake you. And you know, honestly, I cannot wait to hear how God comes through for you. And you sit back and say, yeah, God did it. See, he always does and he always will come through. This is actually one of the biggest things that we see as we read scripture. See, he uses the one that everyone counted out. See, that, that's what it is. So it's time to find God in those small details in your life and just allow God to fill you up right here, right now. And listen, you've been pouring out a lot recently and sometimes we need to come back to that living water and just refill. John 7, 38 says it like this. Whoever believes in me, as the scriptures has said, his heart will flow rivers of living water. You know, the biggest thing for me was recognizing where I got burnt out at. And then realizing that sometimes it's okay just to rest. It's okay just to take a breath and look around and remember everything that God has done. Seriously, don't beat yourself up anymore. Do not let that self-condemnation talk you out of what God is doing in your life. Because what God has for you, no man can stop. Okay, so think about the Samaritan lady at the well. This encounter was no accident. It was actually God's plan for Jesus to be at this well when he was. See, the Samaritans were looked down on. Jews would have nothing to do with them. So for Jesus to be talking to her means that if he talked with her, then he talks with us as well. See, there was no one that could stop Jesus from doing what he said that he was going to do. And that was just to reach across culture lines and make all things new. I love this because we are all like this woman. We've got a past. I don't know about you, but I've got a past. Another side to this, though, is that Jesus knew her past, yet he still wanted to talk with her. And actually, he asked her for a drink. John 4.10 says it like this. Jesus answered her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is that asks you for a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. So listen, don't let your past define you. Jesus' plan is being fulfilled in your life. And guess what? He doesn't hold that against you. He just wants to sit with you and hang out with you. So it's time to push off that old way of seeing God and step into the new perspective of the Father's love. So right here at the end of this video, go ahead and type this. Say, Jesus, come and fill my cup to overflowing. Listen, I love you so much. I'll see you on the next one.